Hi, welcome to Savor, where healthy living and great recipes meet. I'm Chef Henry Weens of San Angelo Community Medical Center, and with me this, today is Dr. Michael Blanc, in, interventional cardiologist at our hospital, wonderful physician and great friend. Welcome to my kitchen this morning. Henry, it's always great to be in the kitchen. Second favorite place other than to be in the heart cath lab helping people's hearts. So yeah. let's do some cooking today. Well, you got a slice somewhere, don't you? Yep. Okay, Michael, we're going to uh, start with our recipe. Michael's going to start chopping a little bit of smoked Gouda cheese for our filling for our crepe recipe. We got basil crepes, and we are filling them with lamb. And uh, in that lamb recipe, we have smoked Gouda cheese. So uh, Dr. Blanc is slicing. Now, instead of slicing, I want you to chop. This, chop. Okay. okay, fingers back. Boom, boom. You're slicing. No, no slice. Okay, chop, 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 Doc. Chop. Come on. Okay, I'm teaching I got him you. a thing or two here. Mrs. Blanc will be happy again to let you know that you're making me do it the right way. Yeah, so. well, she needs to be here to supervise you. I can't. You're out of control already. Now, we've got some crepe batter here that I made beforehand. And that crepe batter has fresh basil, white wine, flour, and some eggs, and a little salt in the mixture. So what we're going to do is make some crepes uh, on that in that fry pan. And I also, Michael, have our filling going here. And when as soon as you get that cheese done, we're going to put it in this mixture. And in this mixture, I have onion and lamb, uh, wild mushrooms, bell peppers. We've got some uh, garlic and some mint. Some wonderful flavors there, Michael. Those are wonderful flavors. And I love the lamb, Henry. I'll tell you, uh, lamb is really an underappreciated meat. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, tremendously uh, low in fat and actually is a tremendous source of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, in fact, uh, in four ounces of lamb, you can get about 50 to 60 percent of the omega-3 fatty acid you would get in a piece of fish. And I think that people don't appreciate how much that is uh, uh, in, the, in lamb. I think that's why it's a part of the Mediterranean diet that we all speak about being so good for folks. Yeah, you know, well, doctor, we can get lamb locally here, uh, uh, of course, in our grocery uh, stores, and uh, ASU has a, a place we can pick it up on Friday afternoons. Uh, lamb is uh, a flavor that's been uh, around our West Texas culture for a long time, uh, and it's, of course, a very uh, favorite of a lot of West Texans, and I I think that this lamb that we're making today, a ground lamb, is especially good uh, because you can do so much with it. I think so. And one other substitute that sometimes we're seeing pop up over here in West Texas, or bison. We're seeing some buffalo around. Yeah. And uh, another way to do this recipe would be to do it with some bison. And bison is a very good meat, uh, very low in fat, and very nutritious for you, very high in protein. So it's, a, it's a, another meat that's heart healthy. Uh, and yet it still gives you the good things about red meat where they'll have some vitamin B in it and uh, a lot of protein. Good, yeah, Michael, um, a bison or ground lamb, or even ground beef will work in this recipe, but, but we prefer lamb or bison, some heart healthy meat that's gonna add to your, your nutritional supplement of the day. So Michael, we got this working here and uh, the cheese has worked its way in, it's melted. Michael's got a crepe there that we made earlier and we're gonna have Michael roll these crepes up for us. Look at that, doesn't it look good? That is fabulous. Man, I tell you, Michael, you know what? I'm gonna give you a, a little sample of this, this uh, filling. This lamb filling is awesome. Here you go. Okay. Open up, buddy. There you go. What do you think? That is tremendous. Wow, what flavor there is. And that some has a little yeehaw in Boy, it. Boy, I tell you, it's yeehaw. I'm telling you, you gotta have it. Gotta have it in West Texas. So Michael's rolling a crepe. I'm gonna give him another crepe. And we're gonna, Go ahead and put some more lamb in there. This filling, wonderful, wonderful meat filling for something different. And it could be a party, it could be an entree, could be you can roll them smaller or make mini crepes. It'd be great for an appetizer as well. So I'm going to give you a hot one now, Mike. There we go. All right. So Michael is rolling those, and we're making our plate with our basil crepes, and then I've got a wonderful topping for our basil crepes, Michael. I've got some apple, Granny Smith apple chutney, and we're gonna put that on there like that, and it's got, this chutney is, again, uh, the recipe is uh, online, 
if you'd like to uh, find that recipe. We don't have a lot of time to go through it, but Mike, I'd like you to sample this. Okay. And check out that chutney and the combination of that basil crepe with that mi meat mixture that you just had. Nothing like having an apple a day to keep the doctor away from you. <laughs> But you're mm. the kind of doctor I want close by because you're a wonderful one. Ah, oh, that is fabulous. And Michael, with that dish, this Pinot Noir would be excellent with that. A nice, smooth uh, wine. And I tell you what, we're out of time. So, Michael, it was good to have you in my kitchen today. And friends, savor life and eat well. Love one another. <laughs>